What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back, friends. Subscribe and welcome, 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 newbie. If you guys are new to my channel, Sag, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for a sign of um, Sag. This can resonate if you have um, Sag in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, energy of your charts. This is uh, hashtag glow up. So um, this is the light side um, series of um, I have the Truth Hidden. This is the Hashtag Glow Up is my light side series. The Truth Hidden is the dark side. So, um, just saying, just saying. But it is a free general collective reading, so it's very important only to the messages that resonate. There's tons of people that view these videos, so one message may resonate with you. Two plus may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else, Sagittarius. So, um, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, just saying, just saying, okay? Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,655 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I appreciate um, all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Grow Up 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay. So we have uh, number 33, 35, 28, or 8. Be very significant numbers in one's life. 33, 35, 28, or 8. These can be uh, possible ages of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, any other significant number that's significant in one's life. 33, 35, 28, or 8. Blossoming, change, victory, and decision. Oh, by the way, I did get one download as I was meditating on your energy, uh, hashtag glow up energy. And um, so anybody doesn't know this new my channel, hashtag glow up is a positive series. Um, Truth hidden is a negative. Um, what people don't want you to know, negativity, etc. The hashtag glow up is focusing on um, change and growth and prosperity and um, healing oneself and all the positive things in life, basically. Just let it right now. But the download I received as I was meditating on your energy, Sag, was um, grooming is what I heard. And, I, you know, this is hashtag glow up. So I don't think it's child grooming or something very negative and creepy and disgusting. I think it's um, positive. I think, I think dog or animal grooming, like physical animal, animal grooming, or it could be grooming on yourself. Maybe you need to pluck your whiskers like I did the other day. Or maybe you're getting your hair did, your nails did. Maybe you're going to start working out, grooming yourself. Um, some kind of grooming energy. Maybe somebody needs to clip their beaver down there. And I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm just being for real. For real. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, but some kind of grooming energy. Um, I feel physical grooming, either on yourself or somebody else, or pets. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Blossoming. Flowers are about to become very significant in a Sagittarius's life. Roses significantly for one. For one, a new breed. Oh, okay, so you plug it in. How it resonates a new breed? A new breed of flowers? I didn't hear what the new breed of flowers was, uh, but you plug it in. How it resonates? So flowers are about to become very significant in Sage's life. Um, for some of you guys, roses are significant. For some, some kind of new breed of flowers are about to become significant. So blossoming in this aspect is, um, I think, the bl blooming of the flowers, the blossoming of the flowers. And um, it making you happy that they are about to blossom and bloom is what I'm feeling here. But only you know your story now. Anybody else, you plug it in, how it resonates. A first word of a child is about to become significant in Sagittarius's life. Okay, I heard a first word of a child is about to become significant in Sagittarius's life. So, um... Blossoming in this aspect is the blossoming of the child, 
growing and manifesting, um, I'm presuming in a positive way, a first word of a child is about to become significant. So the child is blossoming, the child is growing, the child is um, um, growing. That's beautiful. First word of a child. You t you plug it in how it resonates. It could be your child or somebody you're connected to child. For some, it could be your grandchild. For um, However that resonates in one's life. Change. 555 five, five energy. Huge change in money situations are coming for many Sagittarius's. For some, stolen money will be taken away from you through court situations. For some that has not stolen money, new creative ideas are about to really, really come to you. It's about to really, really increase your wealth. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So in this aspect, change is financial and material wealth here. Um, for some of you guys, um, some of you guys, and I'm just being straight up, you have stolen money. You have stolen money. But it sounds like through a series of chain of events, it's about to be taken away from you. Some in the legal system, it sounds like. Some um, not. Um, but however, the stolen money is about to be taken away from you. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But for some of you guys, definitely, it's through the legal system. It sounds like somebody's about to take you to court to get the stolen money taken away from you for some. For the ones that have stolen money. For the ones that don't have stolen money, I heard um, creative ideas are about to come to you and it's basically about to increase your financial abundance. So it sounds like you're about to have this light bulb, the zing up moment um, where you're about to have a creative burst. And um, now this is for someone that hasn't stolen money or doesn't, or is it hoarding somebody else's money? I, I think of somebody that has like an offshore for the stolen money, Sages, Sages, I feel you have an offshore account or you have like a huge ass um, suitcase with money just hoarded in it that somebody, that somebody else's or coffee cans of money just stashed away. I mean, I, I hate to say it like that, but I'm serious. And, it, you know, you shouldn't steal anybody's money. You should go out and make your own money. And that's just true. Um, we live in a society where you can do that. And that's just true. Um, but however that resonates for the ones that haven't stolen money, you're about to get a creative burst. And I think that's the blossoming energy, the creative burst energy, the blossoming with the change for the ones that haven't stolen money. Um, it's about to give you a creative, positive creative burst to where you can um, manifest your dreams, manifest your creative creativity there to where you can be financially stable and abundant. Um, I heard it's going to bring you a lot of financial wealth. So it's going to bring you change financially with this creative burst or burst. But whoever you are, if that resonates for you, you have not stolen money. Um, if that resonates for you. So only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. But it sounds like negative karma coming for the ones that have stolen money. But like I said, only you know your story, not anybody else. Okay. Victory. A Sagittarius is about to stand up to their brother in a huge way. About to file a lawsuit on them. It's about to shock the hell out of them. Wow, Sag, so you plug it in how it resonates. At least one of you guys, you have a brother. Now, you could be a masculine or femme Sag, I'm feeling. But whoever this particular message applies for, you definitely have a brother. So you can be a masculine or femme Sag, but you have a brother energy. Um, I feel biological brother or a half brother or foster brother or something, but some kind of brother energy. How that resonates for you, Sag, masculine or femme Sag. I heard it's about to shock the hell out of him. You're about to place a lawsuit on him. Um, so he has done something to you or someone you care about or put you in some kind of weird situation or something to where you're about to place a lawsuit on him. I heard it's going to um, shock the hell out of him. And you're going to win. Know this, and you're going to win. Know this. Oh my God, this is so strong. And I heard you're going to win. Know this. 
So you plug it in how it resonates, Sag. So if that message applies for you, masculine or femme, Sag, it is a brother type energy, whether it's a biological brother, half brother, foster brother, somebody you think to call a brother, what have you. I heard you will win. You will win. It sounds like they put you in some kind of weird, crazy situation or did something harmful towards you or somebody you care about or what have you. Heard you will win. So victory in this aspect is the lawsuit energy. It sounds like winning lawsuit energy um, against this brother energy. It sounds like you haven't done it yet, but you're about to. That could be the change energy as well with the victory. Um, I feel for some of these brother energies, they probably felt like you would never do this um, because I feel for some, they are your actual blood. But I think your um, viewpoints are changing. Your viewpoints changing on situation or situations. And it's about to cause you to do this. But only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Wow. And for one Sagittarius, you're about to see a feminine energy have a huge victory. For some, you were very, very, very spiteful and malicious towards her in the past, but she is about to blow up. Wow. So you you plug in how it resonates, and that could be the change too. So if that particular message applies for you, Sagittarius, um, there's some kind of feminine energy in your past. I heard you were very spiteful and malicious too in the past. Um, but I heard she's about to have a huge, like, sounds like hashtag blow up herself. Um, I heard you were very spiteful and malicious to her in the past, but she's about to have a huge hashtag blow up. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some, you don't want her to have this hashtag blow up, but honestly, it's her life. It's her life. So, you know, whether you want her to have the hashtag blow up or not, you aren't her. So, I mean, you can... Maybe for some, you are going to be happy about this. Maybe your feelings have changed towards her in a person, place, and situation. But maybe for some, it hasn't. But however that resonates, whether you want her to or not want her to blow up, she's going to do it. But the thing is, is she's not you. So, you know, you can only control yourself, not anybody else. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, Sagittarius. Only you know your story, whether you want her to hashtag glow up or not. But there's definite change there with this feminine energy. Um, and it sounds like she's going to get a victory in this aspect with her hashtag glow up. Um, and I feel she's going to blossom and create change in herself and hashtag glow up and have victory is what I'm feeling. Um, it is a feminine energy you were very malicious and spiteful to in the past. Only you know your story, not anybody else Sagittarius. Okay, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. And for one, Sagittarius, you have found the love of your life. You know you have. There will be an, engage, an engagement soon. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. What? Oh, well, that's this, too. So for one of you guys, I heard you have found the love of your life. You have found your twin, man. If this resonates for you, somebody's found their twin. Congrats to whoever that's for. You have found your twin, baby. Um, congrats, masculine or femme Sag. Um, so most people, okay, I just want to say, twins that come back into reunion, that hardly ever happens. It, I mean, it does happen, but it's rare. And for people to be with their twins and actually be in a relationship, a healthy copacetic relationship with them and actually live life with their twins, that's rare too. Most pe people do not end up with their twins, and that's just the truth. But whoever you are, you're about to end up with your twin. And it sounds like you're about to hold on to them in a very positive manner, not an obsessive, creepy, boy, you're hitting, boy, your camera, creepy, deepy, I've got to control you and stalk you and lurk you, but not tell you I am kind of way. You see what I'm saying? So congrats to whoever that's for, whoever has found their twin. I heard an engagement is about to ensue. So whether you're about to um, propose to your twin or they're about to propose to you, only you know your story, not anybody else. Uh, Sag, but you're currently in energetic space with your twin. So it's going to cause change, blossoming in the relationship between you and this uh, twin. Change, positive change will be the engagement and victory will be the marriage down the line. Wow, that's beautiful, Sagittarius. Oh, congrats, whoever that's for. I would love to know. Of course, you know the rules and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but I would love to know if you choose to tell me. Indecision.
There is about to be a refusal of service soon. Some, a Sagittarius will refuse service for some. Someone connected to a Sagittarius will re refuse service to a Sagittarius. Whoa, so you plug it in how it resonates. Ooh, I heard there's about to be a refusal of service soon. For some of you guys, it sounds like you're going to refuse the service to person, people, place, or situation. So only you know your story, not anybody else. That could be the change too. And maybe you feel you're going to get victory by refusing the service uh, to person, people, place, or situation. I feel you own a business uh, or you co-own a business. How that resonates in your life, Sagittarius, um, I absolutely think you own or co-own a business. Um, and somebody's about to come to you for service or services, and you're about to refuse their service. So you're going to get victory um, by changing the situation and transmuting the energy and refusing service for one of you guys. For one of you guys, you're about to seek service from somebody else, it sounds like, and they're going to refuse services for you. So that's going to be change for them, and they feel they're going to get a victory by refusing service to you, if that resonates for you. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, and that could be the um, indecision, the refusal of the service, uh, not wanting to, um, well, it'd be decision indecision reversed, deciding to refuse service. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Ooh. And one Sagittarius is about to move far locations. They haven't decided it completely yet, but it's leaning that way. Okay, and I heard one Sagittarius is about to decide to move far locations. They haven't completely it's completely decided it yet, but it's it's um leaning that way. So only you know your story, not anybody else, but one of you guys is um, contemplating moving far locations. You haven't decided it yet, so you're indecided, you're undecided yet, but you want change, which the change in this aspect is moving far physical locations from your current location. I think you think you'll blossom if you move far locations and think you'll have a victory, but you haven't completely decided yet. So only you know your story, not anybody else, you guys. You plug it in how it resonates. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.